Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500 and welcome back to an empty driveway. You Sorry about the bird. You know what an empty driveway means? Apart from a visitor to the neighbor's parts at the top of the drive, blocking it. Um, today is new project day. Yes, another new project. Horrible day, it's a rainy day. Uh, it's about half past 10 at the moment. The car is coming around lunchtime, 12 o'clock, half past 12, something like that. I don't think it's left the yard yet because I haven't had a notification from Copart that it's left. But uh, the car will be here soon, soonish, as soon as it's here. We'll record it being delivered, hopefully, and then we'll have a walk round. Hopefully, the rain will ease off and we can have a walk round and not get soaked. Let's do it. Let's get on with it. The new project. Right, we've got another one today that we're going to have a little bit on. Another facelift, 2016, uh, and it's pop and frontal damage only. So it needs a new bonnet, and it needs a new bumper. It's going to need tabs on the headlights at the very least. Possibly not bars. DRLs look okay as well. So possibly not too much to do. It is only a cat in, and it's done only. 39,000 miles as I say 66 plate it is on a minimum bid and it's currently at 1,950 uh, the auction has started and it is number 28 and it's a Westbury so just do a quick flick through the images for you so as I say you can see there first picture front damage uh, a little bit of a split down there by the looks of it. I'm not sure whether that's dirt or a split, but it might be uh, for the for whatever it costs for a bumper. Might be worth putting one on. Uh, looks okay on the roof. Aerial's missing, as they all often are, but it's probably in the car. Uh, nothing to write home about there. Lots of uh, stuff down here by the looks of it. Don't know what all that is. Yeah, don't know. Hmm, don't know what that is. Just trying to blow it up, put it in HD and blow it up. No, it's too blurred. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Hmm, interesting. So, sorry, that was the first picture. I was a certain amount of pictures in, so yeah. Looks like there's a bit of a dent in the wing there, so I might need a new wing, possibly. Um, that wing's okay, that side. There doesn't appear to be any damage on the door or on the rear. Might be possibly a little bit there. Can't really see. Let's HD it. Oh yeah, there is. Look, you can see there was a little bit of damage there. Nothing much, so we can we can fix that. No problem. Uh, what else? It's got the grey seats. Obviously a facelift, so it's nicer. It is only a pop, but you can see the dented bonnet there. So that's going to be need replacing. Only thirty nine thousand miles. Well, that was the last picture rather than the first or second to last so yeah that's it so this will be up at the moment it is 12 minutes past 12 um, so this is probably going to be about half an hour or so so we'll come back we're going to have a bid i'm not going to go much higher than that i have to say um, but um yeah let's see what happens all right here we go let's have a bid shall we two grand New bidder. i think it's probably the only bid i'm going to make <laughs> ah. Should I have one more? Yeah, one more. Oh, I'm not showing you the bidding thing, am I? Sorry about that. So it's 2,100. That's it. That's my last bid, which is, hasn't reached reserve. Bonus time. Anyone? Be a good buy that for 2,100. Bonus time. Hmm, interesting. Am I going to get it? Sold on approval. Well, I did. Let's see. I'll let you know. New bidder. Right, as you can see there, the seller has counted. 
and for once actually considering my maximum was 2100 they've counted at 2475 which is a bit of a strange amount but it does actually make a change for it to be a reasonable counter but you know as usual I will not be counted I will not be accepting that I will be keeping my current bid uh, it's Friday today uh, and it's New Year's Eve tomorrow which is obviously Saturday uh, and then it's a bank holiday on Monday so if I don't do this today they won't probably do this till next Tuesday so I wasn't going to leave it because I'm in no rush um, because obviously I've got the other car to be getting on with which I haven't even started yet but I'm going to do it so I'm going to keep my bid at 2100 now they're going to do it aren't they they're going to they're going to accept it I, I can't see that they wouldn't it's only 375 pounds less than their minimum so I'll be they'll be very foolish if they did if they didn't accept it let's do it confirm my bid of 2100 your bid has been registered now let's see if they come back today and say yay or nay there were so many vehicles on the driveway today there were not including my cars there were three a van and two cars so there was no way I was gonna be able to film the car arriving but here it is it's here it is here um, <laughs> I've not looked inside it yet apart from driving it from the pavement sorry the pavement it wasn't on the pavement from the road down the drive uh, Paul the uh, transporter guy said to me have you seen inside this and I said well you mean the stuff and he said stuff now I noticed in the pictures that when they took pictures of the front the front was clear when they took pictures of the back the stuff that was on the back has obviously been put in the front <laughs> but I've never seen anything like this and I love this because I like going through it all and seeing what I've got for free so uh, let's uh, before we go any further in the car I'm going to show you the inside <laughs> it's going to be a cracker I love doing this I love going through this stuff but uh, yeah let me just turn you around I'm going to put some gloves on first because I don't know what's going to be in there and see what we got are you ready for this I haven't looked in the boot let me just have a look in the boot oh some bits and pieces rubbish mainly <laughs> look at this look at it look at it oh my god what is going on with the seat under all these boxes <laughs> I'm hoping there might be some freebies in here but it looks like it's just rubbish we do have I won't show it um, probably I oh don't know the address of the person's been ripped off the box never mind um, the only reason I'm asking that because you know I'm not going to contact the uh, owner because Copart don't like you doing that I wouldn't do that but um, we've got a University of Chichester disabled parking permit which runs out in June this year so I imagine the uh, person would like it back I don't know why they didn't take it out so if I can find an address inside the car uh, I will send that to the person although they may have already got themselves a new one of course but uh, yeah so I need to have a look let's have a look in the boot first of all see what we got more rubbish support tights empty box Amazon wrapper with the person's address not on there oh good the all in the all important rear shelf and we have some more bags oh we've got some bin liners there shame she didn't put some of the rubbish in the bin liners really um we got what looks like four decent undamaged more bags undamaged um yeah whatever's whatever you call them wheel trims what we got under here spare wheel cd hads a ladding i wonder if that's a child's play it's a dvd so again that's something that the uh person might want back vape store she likes a vape a mobile phone holder which goes with that bit 
That's free, we'll have some of that. We'll keep that. Uh, <laughs> in here we've got McDonald's, fillet of fish. That's something to do with vaping, I think. What's this? Is this a vape? Oh yeah, it is as well. It's a vape. Pink grapefruit. What's that? Perspirex antiperspirant roll-on. Yeah, so lots of lots and lots and lots of empty boxes. Oh my god, look at it. Let's slide the seat forward. This person is a disgrace to, to humanity. I've got a name on that one. Oh, it's someone in, in university. I've got a name. Oh, it's a parking ticket as well. <laughs> What's this? Wob. Wob.com. Don't know what that is. But that's, that's got an address on that. So we might be able to send some of our stuff back. Cigarette packets, bottles, more vape stuff. One free cigarette. Oh my god, I don't think there's anything of any value here. This person is a disgusting student. Absolutely disgusting. Talk about use your car as a bin. Oh my word. Let's have a look around the other side. Oh, I can smell food. It's probably coming from in this car. Hello, what's this? Oh, nappies. Is that nappies? Absorbent nappies. Ah. Oh. Shame I haven't got a baby. I think my daughter's a bit old for them now. Astronaut pants, pull up pants. I'll see if anyone wants them. <laughs> I'm sure someone will be glad of them actually. I might actually wear some myself and take some photographs for the uh, for my Instagram. What do you think? <laughs> oh dear. You gotta laugh, haven't you? More bottles, crispy creams. Hello, what's this? Immigran, Glaxo Smith Klein. I've no idea what that is. Not sure I want to know. More cigarettes. Don't know what that is. Mascara or something, possibly. You know what? I said the food smell and I laughed saying it's coming from here. It's actually a McDonald's, I think. I can smell McDonald's. It's probably coming from a McDonald's bag in here somewhere. Oh my God, this is horrendous. Have you ever seen anything like, why do people, why, you often get them with seats like that, and I never really understand why people do that. It's still obviously connected at the front, I need to dis disconnect those bolts and then put it back properly. Nothing in here, oh, this is, oh, another vape. And another vape. And a battery for the vape. <laughs> oh my God. This is by far the worst I've ever had. I haven't seen an aerial yet. There's no aerial on the roof. I haven't yet come across one. It is that McDonald's. I can definitely smell McDonald's. Oh yeah, McDonald's down here. It's McDonald's chips, I think I could smell. Oh, what we got here? That's not a vape, is it? That's a inhaler. Pre-actuation pressurized inhaler. So someone who's got asthma smokes. Intelligent, isn't it? No bloody service books. I was hoping there might be some service books in there. But there's not. Never mind. Oh, hang on. Ah, 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 look what I found. A bit of a mess, but I don't think there's a service book, though. No, owner manual, no service book. Unless that's down there somewhere as well. What the hell is that? USB speaker? Bluetooth speaker? No. Oh, what a shame. Well, at least it saves me having to buy one of those. Oh, but no service book. Unless it's, it is buried amongst other stuff. Shall I show you the damage now? So I'll leave my gloves on. Because I am. Um, I can still smell that McDonald's. <laughs> it's really weird. Right, so let's show you the damage. Now, in the pictures, let's show you the... I don't know if this is the worst damage. Um, it's alright, I was just adjusting the... This isn't too bad. It looks worse actually than it did in the pictures. Got that, that's just transference. There's no dent there. That will come off. 
we've got a bit of a dent there, paint crack there, crease there, crease there. Not too bad, I can, I'm pretty confident that I can do that myself. Pretty confident. So I think I will probably take the paint off here and get the old um, porter power out and pull that, weld on the, uh, the little rods and pull that out and then fill it. Same goes for that, I'll probably do the same on that and on that and hope I can make a good job of it. Uh, back bumper, I'm afraid it's going to need one I think. <coughs> I mean I could possibly, actually, I say that, that isn't cracked. That's that's not even, I thought that was cracked. Sorry, I'm not even pointing at it, big pardon. I thought this was cracked, but it's not, it's something stuck on it. So it's not actually damaged. Oh, that's good. So I reckon that'll buff off. Sorry, I'm, I'm too, too busy looking at it and not pointing the camera at it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Whether it's something that's been rubbed against it. <sighs> Let's just close the boot. So, yeah, no um, no damage to the boot. Oh, I'm pleased about that bumper. I even said to the transport guy, oh, he's going to need a new back bumper, and he went, in the, yeah, that's a shame. <sighs> Not. <laughs> that's good. Right, so we've got that damage. The door is okay. Seals down here are all okay. This wing is toast. I'm not even going to bother to try and attempt We've got a dent there in the same place as we had one the other day, which we gave up on. Uh, plus this, so that's, that's toast, that's got to go. You know, a professional could repair that. That bumper would repair there, but I think you probably already saw what it's like. So yeah, that's toast. Number plates are toast, or front number plate. Uh, we don't know about the lights at the moment. Obviously the tabs are going to be destroyed, but we don't know whether the, the lights themselves are destroyed. That looks like that has survived. Oh, no, it's, the glass is cracked. So what I might do, use that. I have actually got some stickers that go over that. Gel stickers. They look, they really look really nice, actually. I can uh, replace that. That's the elusive piece there that keeps breaking. You never know. Oh, got a bit of the rubbish out of the car. You never know. It might, under there, be in one piece. I think it's pretty optimistic, to be fair, but um, that's okay, that'll obviously buff up. At least that's survived, So, because often you'll buy a new bumper and it doesn't come with those. That, that's arrived, uh, that's arrived. That, that whole bit there is okay, no problems with that. Front bar looks okay, bottom one it wouldn't have touched, clearly. That front one may be a little bowed in, just here. Possibly, I don't know whether it's, that's just, yeah, that may well be, so I'll actually pull that out. I'm not going to replace that. There's no point in replacing that. Um, so that's the main damage at the front here. Let's just have a look around the other side. So this wing is completely okay, except for there, where the headlights caught it. Obviously, bonnet is toast. But that wing's okay apart from there, so that will tap down no problem at all. This door is perfectly fine and I think I'm right in saying that the seals on this side are okay which is always a bonus there's no quarter panel damage this side there's a couple of little marks on it nothing much that snapped as usual that's about it I think <laughs> oh my god I've got to clean this out It'd be nice if the um, service book is knocking around in there somewhere, but it's not looking very hopeful. But you never know, it might be under the seat or something, so we'll have a, we'll have a clear up in a minute. I must take some pictures of this and uh, put it on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's love500salvage. Um, come and follow me on there, you always get sneak peeks of, uh, of the cars as I'm doing them, when I get them and so on and so forth. And some mildly amusing stuff. <laughs> That needs a new tyre there, it's bald as anything. Just there, so that will need replacing. I have got a wheel with a good tyre on. And that's not got much life left in it, to be fair. I think the backs are okay, yeah, that's that's pretty new on the back there. 
It is MOT'd until April. That one's okay, but probably could do a replacing. So I may have to be well, we have to replace three tires on this. So yes, whoever has had this car uh, has not looked after it whatsoever. Let's hope service wise, it has been looked after. But to treat the inside of your car like that, it's just an absolute disgrace. Let's just grab the keys and we'll show you the mileage and so on. All right. I was just drinking my tea then, before I got in here. Minging on there, as you'd expect really, from someone who treats a car like this. Oh God, I can't even get the seat back with one hand. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Hopefully there's no burns or anything in the seats, because that would be a pain. Can't see any. More McDonald's stuff. Dunkin' Donuts. What's this? University of Chichester Daily Parking. Right, let's just turn this off. I may have to mute it if the stereo comes on. I don't think it did. No, that's good. I suppose we ought to make sure it works. Uh, warning, low fuel. Oh, I thought there was some fuel in it. Uh, so yeah, it's... Um, it did come up the mileage, let me just get rid of that, if I can. Shut the door. City mode is on, so we'll take city mode off. Low fuel, there we go, 39,617. Turn the fan off. Um, I suppose we ought to make sure everything works. I'm, I can't believe this state of this, what is this? Gravy, oh it's from KFC gravy. Oh, it makes me angry when people treat their Fiat 500s like this. There's, someone said, look, you can see there's round marks on there where they've had drinks on there and the drink is all spilt down there and there. Absolute slobs. I'm just going to turn the stereo on. Just going to uh, turn it off for a second, just in case any music starts. Yeah, it does work. Of course, uh, we've got no area on there, so uh, obviously we won't get a signal. Uh, I've got a spare one, actually, so I'll put that on in a second. Light's been turned off. Assuming it works, yep. Yeah. That's good. Anything up here? No. So no aircon. It is a pop. This, if you hadn't realised already, uh, it is a pop. Make sure the electric windows work. Yeah, that one works nice. And that one works nice. Good. Perfecto mundo. Right, so I think we need to look under the bonnet, don't we? I'm not sure whether I'm going to need to pop the bonnet or not. Let's just turn that ignition off. Only got one key, as usual. Oh my God, the state of it. Let's, let's pop the bonnet uh, and have a look, see what's uh, going on under the engine. See if the cam belt wouldn't have been done. I think that's extremely unlikely. 39,000 miles, 2016, and the person who doesn't obviously give a monkeys about their car. Oh my word. Minging, 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 minging. Right, I'll be back in a sec. I'm just gonna uh, pop the bonnet. Right. Let's see if the bonnet just opens. Should do. Ah. Let me just flick it, just in case it's that stopping it. No, I don't think it was. It may have to be jemmied open in some way. Yeah, it doesn't want to... No, it's not going to come. I'm going to have to force that open. That's a shame. Let me have a quick go at that, see if I can get that off. What I may have to do is uh, take the bumper off um, to get to the bolts for the, uh, the catch and then take the whole entire thing off. But I'll, tr I'll try and see if I can jimmy it open. I'll be back in a second. Uh, it won't, I can't get it to jimmy open at all. Just doesn't want to know. This is the first, actually. I've not had this before. That. Oh, hang on. It, it did it. New battery. That's a bonus. Looks like I got away without a broken uh, 
airfield housing for once. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's been peeled back. It looks like it has been done. That's a surprise. That is a surprise. Yeah, maybe maybe the owner of this car was good with maintenance. It was just treats the inside of it like a skip. Oh, that's good. The same new battery. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the oil. Actually, first thing to do. It, well, I haven't started it. Well, so I haven't started it. I haven't started it for you. Obviously, I drove it down the um, down the drive, and uh, it actually sounds sweet as an It's got a nice, nice clutch. All is good. And I'm looking at it, you know, although that front panel is at it, looking at it, I think that radiator is okay. It doesn't look. Even, it doesn't even look bent. So I think it was probably quite a high upwards hit, which has pushed that front panel up. And it's barely touched the radio. The only mark on the radiator is, I think, where this bit here has hit it. There is some plastic. Is that plastic? Yeah, that's, that's part of the, uh, the grill. So the grill has hit it and made some marks, but it doesn't look bent. <clears throat> Let's get a torch and have a look and see if it's holding water. Get that jimmy out of the way. Yeah, just want to see whether it's holding water and then we'll um, we'll try the oil as well. Right, it might be difficult. No, it's holding loads of water in it, yeah? Look, see that down there? It's about two thirds of the way between empty and full. So that's good. Uh, chassis leg is all good, as it should be. So is that one? Radiator pipe there is a bit crushed, but that might straighten out okay. But obviously the front panel is mullered, so that would be why that's uh, that's all pushed back. But I think, I won't know for certain until I get it off, but I think that radiator is gonna be okay. Although I have got one, because they were 25% off, so I bought two. One for the other car and one for this one. Or not necessarily for this one, as I didn't know about this one at the time, but now we've got this one, we can use it if need be. Yeah, that's good, that is good. So I have got, I think I have actually got a spare one of those now because I got a bumper, new bumper came with one and the old bumper, the one was okay. I don't know what I've done with it, but um, I think it's okay. So if I have got a spare one, I will put that on. Otherwise I will use those gel badges, which I'm not sure whether they fit. I don't know whether those badges are the same size. This, this piece, I mean, I'm not sure whether that bit there is the same size as the preface lift. Pardon me. Um, if it is, then I can use one of the gel badges. If not, I might. You might be able to get gel badges. I mean, this this entire piece. It seems silly, considering this is not broken. It seems silly to replace the entire thing. If I, I've got some, actually, I've got some, so I'd have to try it. I'll have to put it over. The sparkly ones. So depends whether a bloke buys this or whether a girl buys it. Really, as to whether they want sparkly ones. But. Um, yeah, it's not too bad actually. So I've just gone and bought a front panel, just gone and picked it up. I need to have a look at the headlights. First glance, I can't see any problem with them. Apart from the tabs, of course. Although, yeah, no, actually, yeah, that bit's, that bit's okay as well. In the, you know the bit that we had the problem with on the other car? I don't know if my lens is steamed up. I think it is with the rain. I'm just going to give it a wipe over. Bear with me one sec. I don't know if that's made it any better or not. It, looked, it just looked a bit misty through the uh, through the lens. Uh, so yeah, so that bit's okay on both headlights, which is good because if that, as we found out to our cost, if that lo location tab is broken, then they don't tend to fit very well in there. So yeah, it's not too bad under the bonnet. As I say, new battery. I need to, I need to check the oil, don't I? But it does certainly looks like the cam belt's been done. And we got water, which is good. Right, let's um, put you up back on the tripod and we'll, uh, we'll check this oil, see what, see what it's like. Hopefully it's nice and new and plenty of it. Right, let's get a bit of tissue. Oh, what a miserable day today. 
Let's have a look. It's about half full by the looks of it. And it's fairly new, fairly new. Just put it back in again properly. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is actually, if, if you can make that out. It did come into focus then. It keeps coming into focus and then going out again. There you go, oh, it's dripping on the drive. Yeah, it's, it's fairly oil color as opposed to being black. Needs a little top up, probably about a litre in there, but so I think that's been serviced quite recently. We'll have a look at the oil filter as well, see if we can tell how new that is. What's my torch gone? That's always a good indication, as well as looking at the air filter. Oh God, yeah, blimey, that looks brand new. So that has been not long serviced. So I reckon, you know, I reckon they've had, the, they've had a service and they've had a cam belt done at the same time. Cool. So um, we've got covers on the struts. Uh, this is, I think I've already said this is MOT'd until April and it is actually showing taxed as well. I've already sent off for the logbook, I sent that off yesterday. Um, I think the DRLs are going to be okay, both DRLs. We may have, you never know, we might have a broken tab, certainly on that side, but we, we know we can repair those as long as we've got the, the bits which tend to still be on the bumper, then it should be okay. So that's it, I think. What do you think? A nice little project, I think. We need to get a wing. At the moment, the panels are really difficult to get hold of this time of the year. It's uh, Tuesday, the, what is it, the 3rd of January today. Um, it's, just, it's the day when most people have gone back to work. So ever since sort of just before Christmas up to now, so you know, last two and a bit weeks, there's been virtually no new parts added to eBay at all due to Christmas. So I'm hoping in the not too distant future that uh, that goes up and we can get some parts because I need a bonnet, I need a bumper. There are bumpers on there, white bumper. There is one which looks like someone's repaired it, but they've run out of paint. They made a really awful job. It's got loads of runs on it under, underneath the whisker and then on the bottom bit down there, it, they've obviously run out of paint and it's just primer. Apart from that, it looks in really good condition. So it all need rubbing down and repainting completely. I think it's about 130 quid. But I'm, I'm, ho I'm holding out, there are others as well, but I'm holding out that some more come up. And white bonnets, I mean, white bonnets are the most common. Um, there aren't any, really. Not, not within, there are if you live in the Midlands or up north, but if you live down south, nothing. It's either pick up only or there isn't anything, or they're people selling damaged ones for like 50 quid why you'd want to buy a damaged bonnet i don't know quite badly damaged some of them as well uh, but this one will be going to the skip so yeah it's not too bad is it it's not too bad at all we need to have uh, once we get all this bumper off and that we can obviously look at the stuff in a bit more detail need to get that off but tell me what you think apart from the mess inside um the damage isn't too bad. Obviously, it'll need a clean. That, that'll be the most challenging. But I'm, quite, I'm sort of quite looking forward to having a go at that. Because I think I can do that quite well. So, actually, no, there is a bit of a... You, you can feel that. It's not just mark. It's just gone in just a touch. But uh, we'll look at the figures. I will have a go. I think I can do that okay. If, it, if I do it and I make a pull cup of it, then I'll take it somewhere and get it done properly. But I reckon I can do that. Again, I apologise for, for what the picture, I don't know if the picture, I don't know if it's my lens that's steamed up or what it is, or it's just the, the damp. But the picture looks very, very <laughs> misty. Um, hopefully when I get it onto the computer, it's not quite so, but uh, yeah, it is awful weather today. So I suppose the camera doesn't like being out in the damp. So that's it. So let me know what you think. Uh, this is project, did I give you a name? I didn't, did I? I'll put it on Instagram. I'm calling this, as it's <coughs> Project BG, I thought I'd call it Barry. So, <laughs> excuse the singing. Um, yeah, Project Barry. We don't normally have men's names, but Barry Gibb did have long hair, or has got long hair. Is he dead? I can't think. I think he's the one that's still alive, isn't he? I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, yeah, Project Barry. Welcome to Project Barry. 
or Bazza. Um, what do you think of the car? I think it'd be a nice little project. If I can get parts for it, we can get on. So I've got the front panel. Excuse the plane. I've got the front panel. Um, that's about all I've got. And of course, radiator if I need it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I need for the front, apart from obviously the panels, the the, uh, the bonnet and the, and the bumper, but hopefully I can get those soon. Yeah, let me know what you think. I'm going to give it a good clean out now. I'll take some pictures for Instagram and then give the thing a good clean out and get all that crap out the back of it. But this, I think, is going to be a really nice car when it's done. Look forward to it. Anyway, that's it for now. So yeah, welcome to Project Barry. Hopefully next time I film, I won't have a steamed up lens and we can, uh, we can get some decent shots of the car and show you in more detail once we get it clean as well. So that's your walk around video on the new project, one of the new projects, both of these projects, this one and Project Kylie that's in front of the house, I have not touched. Obviously not this one, I've only had it a couple of hours, but that one I've had it a week or more, more than a week, but I've got it before Christmas. Did I? Yeah, I got it just before Christmas. I haven't touched it. Because I was finishing the other one on a glamorous Katie, which is now finished. Uh, and is going up for sale within the next few days. But that's it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the little walk around. Uh, and I look forward to showing you more on the channel of getting on bread and butter stuff, front end damage. Hopefully it will go smoothly. We don't have any problems. Time for me to clear out the car and get it cleanish inside so until the next one as always if you're not a subscriber click on that button subscribe to the channel we'll see you in, in probably won't be a video on sunday i don't think i'm not sure when i'm going to upload this video i don't know if i've got time for, to get this done for tomorrow which is wednesday or whether this will come on sunday this may well come on sunday actually um, and then we'll hopefully have some time the next week weather permitting to get on and make a start on this and hopefully get some parts so until then as always thanks for watching take care Stay safe and we'll see you on the next one.